Hi everybody, welcome to our Friday card and today we're going to be using an Avriel stamp set. Um, this one is called Ellie Clear Stamps and I just thought the elephant was so cute so I wanted to try and uh, color him. Now what I did was is I took some masking paper and I stamped out the elephant once and then cut it out so that way I could stamp around and stamp over it um, the initial stamp that I made and it would look like items were behind the actual elephant. So you see me here kind of creating a scene with the small bunny and then some grass. And then once I had everything stamped up, I think right now I'm getting ready to do the balloons. And this was what really excited me, the idea of having the balloons in the trunk of the elephant. I thought it was so cute. But of course, you know, placement is sometimes tricky. So trying to figure out where exactly I wanted them to lay was the, the fun part. Now when you do a masking tape, you can put it on your stamp set so that way you save it and you can use it a couple of times before it gets untacky. Now right now I'm doing Copic coloring and with this particular Copic coloring what I was trying to do was create a shadow underneath his ear and then a little shadow on the back of the head. But my Copic uh, collection is very limited at the moment and I really didn't like my gray combination so you see me here I've re-stamped it and I'm coloring it in uh, just the gray shade and then I'm putting the masking tape over top of it now what I've learned is putting the masking tape back on over after you've already colored something it makes it not want to stick so I was just worried that if I had stamped it and you know did everything like I did before and then it messed up again I'd have to redo it I just it scared me so I just wanted to color it first so my suggestion would be go ahead and trust your instincts even if you make a mistake you can always just cut a new piece of paper and start over but if you color something and then put the masking tape on it you're gonna find that it's hard for it to stick so after I stamp the grass and the bunny again I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring the grass in two shades of green and I believe I used the YG45 and the YG61 on this one and then I took a pink and just did the bunny and left the tail white and then I'm using two shades on the balloon and that is RV66 and RV55. And I'm using the great part about stamps is a lot of times they'll put lines on the actual stamp to mimic where shading should be and that's where I was putting the darker shade of the pink to give it shadow between the yellow and the pink balloon. So now I'm trying to adjust where I'm going to put my happy birthday sentiment. And the birthday set that I wanted to use is this new one I got from Simon Says Stamp and it's called It's Your Birthday. And they had a really pretty happy birthday script. but it was too long so I went ahead and cut it learning from the people on uh, YouTube like um, Jennifer McGuire and Christina Warner and they cut their clear stamps all the time and you can you can put them back together if you want it long but it allows you to have it like I do with the happy birthday you know separated on top of each other now for the final touches, I'm using my Winka Stella. I'm definitely into the Winka Stella right now. And what I did was on the pink uh, bunny, I put Winka Stella white on the tail and then the regular clear on the pink bunny. And for a little dimension, I just put some dimensionals on my focal point and then I mounted it on a black piece of paper. And now I'm just finishing putting the card together and even after the initial oops that I made, um, I think it still came together pretty well.
Thank you guys again for joining me this Friday on a happy birthday card. Next week will be our final happy birthday in this series, and then we'll be starting a new one the week after that. So make sure you subscribe below so that way you can stay up to date on all my new videos. Thank you, and have a blessed day.